Good morning, my friends. I'm so happy to see you today. Today is gardening day with a twist because we're actually doing some science and we are looking at some classifications of animals, specifically vertebrates. But before we find out all about what vertebrates are, first, let's welcome in the day. Are you ready? The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up, the sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up, the sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. When I sit at circle, my bottom is on the floor. My legs are crisscross applesauce. My eyes are looking, my ears are listening, my mouth is closed and my hands are in my lap. Buenos dias, como estas, como estas? Buenos dias, como estas, como estas? Yo estoy bien y tú también. Buenos dias, como estas, como estas? Good morning, how are you? How are you? Good morning, how are you? How are you? Me, I'm fine and you are too. Good morning, how are you? How are you? Hmm. What morning is it today? What day is it today? Let's take a look. So if yesterday was science experiment day, that means yesterday was yesterday was Wednesday and if yesterday was Wednesday that means tomorrow will be Friday tomorrow will be Friday and if tomorrow will be Friday it means gardening days on a yes, Thursday today is Thursday days of the week days of the week Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Los dias de la semana son siete, son siete. Los dias de la semana son siete, son siete. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes. Sábado, domingo son siete, son siete. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes. Sabado, Domingo, sunny, 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 is it sunny in the sky? S-U-N-N-Y is sunny, is it sunny in the sky? Cloudy, 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 is it cloudy in the sky? C-L-O-U-D-Y, cloudy, is it cloudy in the sky? Rainy, 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 is it rainy in the sky? R-A-I-N-Y is rainy, is it rainy in the sky? Windy, 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 is it windy in the sky? W-I-N-D-Y, windy, is it windy in the sky? Snowy, 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 is it snowy in the sky? S-N-O-W-Y is snowy, is it snowy in the sky? My friends, what's the weather like with you today? Oh, well here it is nice and warm. It is not too hot, but it's lovely and warm. So I'm going to think about it being warm. You choose a word that best suits your weather and we'll meet at the end of the song. Ready? I know a day just like today and warm was the weather. W A R M W A R M W A R M and warm was the weather. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are introducing vertebrates. 
But what is a vertebrae? Well, a vertebrae is a type of animal that has a backbone, a backbone. So if you put your hand on your back, right in the middle, can you feel something really hard in there? It's kind of long and it goes all the way down your back. And it feels like there's like little bumps all the way up there too. It's your backbone. So your backbone helps you to stand up and be sturdy. Now, animals also have a backbone. Not all animals. There's five classifications of animals that have a backbone and they are called vertebrates. Now, these five classifications are mammals, fish, birds, amphibians and reptiles. Well, how do you tell them apart? Well, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go on a hunt for these five classifications of animals. Now, we're not going on a hunt for the real five classifications of animals, because that would mean you'd maybe have to go to the zoo or you'd have to go and steal somebody's pet. And we're not going to do that. We want some animals that we can draw afterwards. So we are going to look around our house for any cuddly toys that we have, any characters we have, we might have some pictures of them and we are going to find those and make a collection of vertebrates to do some work with. So how can you tell the difference? Well, a mammal is warm blooded. It also gives birth to live young and the young nurse from the parent. So it's just like a human being. A human being is an, a mammal and so is a polar bear, for example. So you can look for mammals in your house. Hmm, what else? A fish. A fish lives in water and a fish has gills, gills on what I guess we'd call the side of its neck that helps it to breathe in the water. And for an example of a fish, you might find say like a goldfish, you might have in a fish tank at home or a shark. Birds, birds have feathers, they have wings and they lay eggs. An example of a bird is a flamingo. So you can look for birds in your house too. Remember, not real ones. An amphibian is cold blooded. It starts off its life in the water and later on it moves to dry land. An example of this is a frog. A frog starts off life as a tadpole in the water. It grows up and then it moves to the land. We happen to have a frog. And finally, a reptile. A reptile is also cold-blooded and also lays eggs. An example of this is a snake. A snake. This is not a scary snake. This is one of Arabella's snakes. So let's go take a hunt and find all the vertebrates we can. Come on. We went on our initial vertebrate hunt and I'm going to show you what we came up with. And I just made a little sign that I put on here now. When I was in the classroom, we always taught writing in cursive. Depending on however your child has started learning, you just stick with what you know. So if you need to use print, write in print, that's absolutely fine. And it'd be wonderful if you guys can try and write by yourselves or trace um, what mommy or daddy or nanny can trace for you, okay? So this sign says vertebrate. So let's see what we found. So the mammals that we found, we found a polar bear, A zebra. We found a rabbit. Then really recognise Flopsy and Peter Rabbit. For birds, we found flamingo and a duck. Duck. This is our bath duck. For an amphibian, we found our frog that Elizabeth likes to play at night time. My daddy plays it to her. And for a fish, we found a little goldfish that came from Arabella's work when we were doing the colour matching work. Finally, for the reptiles, we found a snake. Snake. There is a wonderful group of vertebrate and we are going to draw them all and make a booklet. We didn't actually finish our hunt there. There is so much more. I just went on a quick hunt so I could show you what we start off with. I think I'm gonna need a bigger table once I find them all. And then I'm gonna make a booklet and draw all of our vertebrates and maybe write the name and stick it together. I'd love to see yours when you're done. Let's finish off today with our silly song about a frog because a frog is a vertebrate, a frog is an amphibian. Remember the one where we close our eyes? 
Do you want to try it? One, two, three. Mm -mm. Went the little green frog one day. Mm -mm. Went the little green frog. Mm -mm. Went the little green frog one day and they all went mm -mm. <sighs> But we all know frogs go la di da di da la di da di da la di da di da we all know frogs go la di da di da they don't go mm -mm. <sighs> Could you hear Elizabeth joining in a little bit then? Let's finish off today with some breathing. We have so many animals to choose from today. <laughs> Let's do some lion breath. We haven't done that for a while because a lion is a mammal. So come up onto your knees and we're gonna breathe in and out like a lion. Are you ready? Shoulders up and down in your back pockets. Have so much fun on your vertebrate hunt today and I will see you tomorrow for math day when we are telling the time. Goodbye.